hi nana here again today i had a requirement from one of my student that he wanted to disable a specific attribute group of an item creation for a specific user actually so one user will not have a purchasing let us say he cannot edit that purchase whereas other users can very well edit so this is the requirement and so what happens i started experimenting it and then i succeeded on this so let me share my experience on this one so let me go and share the screen now here if you go and then see when i wanted to create an item <coughs> go there click on the page and then i am putting the values over here not right d01 putting it and then the root item class Okay. <clears throat> now I'm writing something, and then if you go to the specifications, now this user whom I am logged in can now work on all these attribute regions. If you go to the purchasing, he can very well do the edit of the purchasing. Right? Anything can be said by him. Now, I wanted him to this user to be disabled on the purchasing front. Right? Nothing he can do on this. Right? The whole area I want to disable him. So that was his requirement actually. So this I succeeded in doing it actually. Now, as of now, what happens? He cannot edit anything. Whatever he wants, he can very well edit. So I am not going to disable this purchasing for this user. Right? You know, see how to do that. So let me go the and then take a copy of it and then put on the next one now. <clears throat> so here I go there. Then go to the setup and maintenance. And then go to the task manage item class manage percentage item percentage class percentage so here i click on the manage item class i edit the root item class i go to the security so let me query the security for this one if i go there the org which i am going to use is b 010 and then enter so d01 the organization i think this is the organization i think d010 let me query it now so this is the wrong area and this is the place where we are going to query so we have a product data steward at the group level at the group level we have this so what i do is i delete this group fine i go there let me delete it delete so at the group level i'm deleting it so i'm deleting it and then give a save and close it has got some small bug so it's preferable to not only save but save and close and then it is the problem now what i do is i go to the security and then let me add it i'm going to add it so let me add it come plus one so this time what happens i'm not going to go for the group level but i'm going to go for the person level let me choose the person level so person level is no okay oh god <clears throat> person level i'm choosing so go there it's a d01 underscore emp is a one so i'm going to choose it and you have so the emp has come up and the organization is a d010 and then let me give a save save and close so let me go on and save and close now. it is preferable to save and close because there was a small bug in the previous le levels now so instead of saving what happens you give a save and close it will not definitely work because what happens because of a small bug which i have seen there now. so it's preferable to go there now let me query my org it is a d010 the function security is now given now let us go and then give the data security box and then select it and then go down so you can now see the d01 action is coming you go to the action now is in a person level and then go to the select nad now. so click on select nad and then you give a search everything will be selected now fine here what happens i will not remove the purchasing now fine first of all on the action side what happens by the side of the left hand side there is a small box is there if you click on it everything gets selected and then with the control what i'm going to do is i will now remove the maintain item purchasing group fine you click on it that gets removed i selected all and then i deselected this now you go down and then click on apply and then click on okay so by which do not have so the actions without the purchasing group has been given at the person level so click on save and close now so now this user cannot create in the master or what happens uh, other thing now i can cancel it and then let us go there and then create it click on save 
so click on it and I'm going to create so on the mass shot I'm going to create it 0 1 0 <coughs> root item class now give okay now <coughs> now I go to the specifications so click on the specifications so in the specifications what happens if you go to the purchasing you can now see everything is grayed out actually Nothing can be edited here. If you go to the manufacturing, what happens? It becomes editable. It's all editable. Whereas in the purchasing, since I have removed him from doing anything, what happens? He can do it now. So nothing he can touch it at all on the purchasing anything because he has not been given the data security for purchasing actually, and nothing can be changed actually. Now, what happens here? We have to give for every user an entry over here. In this place, what happens? You have to give an entry for each and every user. If you are going to give at the personal level, you're going to give at the personal level. And now, what happens if you feel that what happens you are given for so many users at the personal level? Now you want to grant all for everybody now, and or otherwise you want to grant something for all now. Let us say, let us say there are now some twenty functions are there. Now what happens out of which eighteen functions you want to grant for all the users? So in that case, what happens you go there and then simply add, if I click on plus now, and then put a group level now, and then click on plus now. I'm going to the top movement. The group level, I will not say product data stream, but no, putting it on click on it. Product data keyword. <clears throat> and then choose that of the Vora now. Vora when you choose it. And then organization is a D010. And then save and close. Give a save and close. You know that and go there. Now click on edit now. And then let me query my you go to the security and then query my now. You go to the organization D010 and then query it will have two entries. Now this group supersedes the person level. If you have person level at all levels, all of them are superseded with the group now. I can see. So for the group, what I'm going to do is I go there. Now on the D01, I'm now on the group level, D01 actions, for actions, and then go to selection add now. I'm selecting and adding. So click on search now. And then select all. And this time purchasing is also enabled now. And remember at the personal level it is not enabled. At this level it is enabled. If I click on apply and then click on OK now. <clears throat> it is not done. And go there. Save and close now. So now in the previous case, what we did is we are now we are unable to edit anything now. Fine. Go there. We are not unable to edit anything. So now cancel it. And then let me go and then create a new item now. Click on it. So let me create a new item. So click on it. And then go and then click on create. So this time, what I'm going to do is D010, <coughs> and that is a rule item. Now you go there, and then in this place, if you go to the specifications, and then directly go to the purchasing area, now everything becomes editable. All of them are editable. That means what? The group level supersedes the person level. So now, if you have entered some, let's say, some 20 employees with the different, different ones, and at the group level, what happens if you are writing, let's say, uh, some 17 groups are enabled and then three are not disabled, that only are going to be applicable for all the users, actually. So try to make some small R&D, and then what happens, improvise this uh, particular behavior now, fine. So this is what I found now. So you can even, uh, what happens, uh, try to make it more meaningful, and then try to do it. And then that to that student's work is now what happens. He, yeah, we have already provided the solution for him now. Fine, there's a way we have to do it now. So he wants certain for what happens areas to be disabled for certain users. Now. In that case, you should not have any group level entry, you should have only a person level entry for each level users. And then if the users are going to be huge, this will be a big exercise actually. So try to convince him, convince the end customer, and then try to do it as a group level itself. And then uh, what happens? You disable something for uh, for all the users now. Fine. If you disable something, it will be disabled for all the users actually at the group level. If you're doing it, now. so you have to uh, work around and then uh, arrive at a trade-off. And then see that what happens? Your entries into the systems are minimal actually. This way you can do it now. So this I hope that will be having some amount of idea for you about how to disable certain attribute groups using the security, function security, and data security. Bye for now, and then we'll see you in the next video. Now I'm here.